the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs coming up next. It's the venue that's had plenty of success, come through it since the mid-2010s, as well as a few Lombardi trophies. It's GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more than likely is going to come away with the win. Set to go is the kicker, Harrison Butker. And we're underway from Kansas City. Return coming from the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So here come the Bengals, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by a motivated player coming off an injury, one of the game's great young QBs, Joe Burrow. When Joe Burrow's between the white lines, he's one of the game's best and most entertaining quarterbacks. He just has a cool factor that is the envy of so many. Nothing seems to bother them other than some injuries that unfortunately have ended seasons early. When he's on the field, timing, the anticipation, Kate, the precision with which he plays, he has very few peers. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, looks like the 30. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. They'll run here. It's Zach Moss who gets it. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of the defense. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Burrow out of the shotgun. Into the hands of Kasicki, complete. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive and take that shot. First game of the game here to Chase Brown. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. It's a pickup of nine yards. And it sets up a Cincinnati first down. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. This is hauled in by T. Higgins. And he works this to the 38 before going down. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, Oftentimes, it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. Second and three. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Well, no luck on his first look of the game. And now they'll face a third and three. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Third and short, it's Burrow. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. That's one he knows he should have had. And that brings up fourth and short. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you got to go finish it. You got to go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. 
And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all his concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Kadarius Tony now to return it. So here are the Chiefs out on offense for their first drive. Leading them out is fresh off a third Super Bowl title. The standard for quarterback excellence today, Patrick Mahomes. All of us as sports fans, we know those players in the other sports that when we just think of the greatest to ever do it, a skill set that's different than everybody else, immediately a player pops in your mind. And while we have seen goats like Tom Brady and Super Bowl winners many times over like Bradshaw, Martin, and Aikman, there's just not many that have ever done it with the flair, the style, and the skill set of Patrick Mahomes. The big play and that's him 17 yards. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Hauled in by Rice. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First down throw, Mahomes. He's got his man, that's Travis Kelsey. And he's gonna be brought down at the 35-yard line. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Here's second and five. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom! Connect on a big shot, and instantly, you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. He'll try to run with Pacheco. And he runs this one in for the touchdown. The Chiefs finish off their opening drive. It's an Isaiah Pacheco touchdown. No doubt about that one, Brock. They soften that defense up with that lengthy opening series. And then the front just couldn't stand up to the run as they reach the end zone. Yeah, the numbers tell you, kind of just like baseball, you love home runs, you love explosive plays. But when you can play small ball, and you can keep that defense gasping on the field, you can often run it right down their throats in the red zone. Now Harrison Butker for the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Butker on now to kick this one away. Travion Williams now to return. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Brock, he's tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. Cincinnati headed back out for its second drive now. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. First down, here's Burrow. Higgins makes the catch. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. 
That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Burrow from the gun. Got a man. It's Gasicki. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Play action now. Burrow. Got his man on the end. Complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And it'll be first down, Bengals. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route, too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Ball at the 33 for first down. To throw again, it's Burrow. Short pass caught by his tight end. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Off the option, here's Moss. And he'll only get this to the 26 before going down. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Third and short here, trying to pass. He'll get this one to Brown. They come through with a nice game there. Gain of 10, first down. This dude's just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. The drive picks up here, first and 10. From the red zone now. Finds Chase on the slant. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Out of the shotgun, Burrow. That one's incomplete in the end zone. Thought he had a touchdown there. And that leaves him with third and short. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Or well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. Looking to throw on third and two. The throw is caught. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals hold a slim two-point lead early. So Brock, good work there to finish off the drive in the end zone and retake the lead. You just get this feeling every once in a while in games, this sucker's going to be a back-and-forth football game. So what a great job offensively to jump out in front here in the first half of play. Evan McPherson on to try the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Nicole Hardman now on the return. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. 
Well, hang on there. Hang on a moment. Looks like we've got an injured player on the kick return. They're going to check on him now. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Into a ton of traffic, and this one's intercepted. And the Bengals have the football just a tick beyond midfield at the 49. You can see it right off the snap. They got a really good read on where that was designed to go. Having that extra defensive back, that nickel coverage, so critical on that interception. Give that defensive coordinator some credit. Had the right plan, the right personnel. This guy's on the field, made the right play. Here come the Bengals to take over once again. And I'm pretty sure, Brock, they hadn't even all sat down on that sideline yet to rest. And now they're right back out there with a great chance to repeat their last touchdown. And you will take that every day of the week and twice on Sundays. You don't <laughs> mind at all. You got that defense right now reeling after the touchdown. And look at where they start with the football now. Searches from the pocket. And this is going to end up incomplete. Really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing is Burrow. This one taken in by Chase. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. And they can go ahead and stay in that huddle. We're at the end of the first quarter. Just a field goal separates these two. Back to Arrowhead in just a moment. Time for our second quarter. It'll be Bengals football to begin. They've got first and ten here, looking to add to their lead. Looking to throw Burrow. Oh, he got way too much under that one. Too high, that's incomplete. Couldn't find Jamar Chase on that throw. And we'll see what they do here on second down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Running on second with Moss. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got a tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Here's Burrow. Complete beyond the marker. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. 16 yards on the play. And it sets up a Cincinnati first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you nobody wants to hit you but that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch first down burrow to throw looking touchdown but can't connect quarterbacks well they're a lot like sharp shooters in the nba sometimes they're just gonna miss you gotta shake it off and keep on firing No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Burrow out of the shotgun. This one's caught. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. You know, Kate, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. You got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Here they come. This is third and five. Burrow setting the throw. Escapes the pocket. And that play is brought to a halt. They're going to say at the five-yard line. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape. And good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward.
And on fourth down, out comes the Bengals field goal team and Evan McPherson. High percentage look for him here from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll double their lead to six. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. His return starts at the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call, 1-844-MADDEN-1, and make your case for who should get a boost. Looking for Travis Kelsey that time. So that brings up second down. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Operating from the gun, here's Mahomes. Fires down the middle, and it is caught. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks, that's the trust, and then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. First and 10, it's Mahomes. He's got Brown on the slant. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. Second and three now. They fake the handoff. Now Mahomes. Has a man. It's Brown. And he gets this forward to the 19. It's a gain of 22. And it'll be first down Kansas City. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Working inside the red zone. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Looking for Travis Kelsey that time. So it's second down coming up. I think we're seeing why this defense likes him in coverage. He reacts so well to throws and is even more adept in breaking up those passes. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Motioning the tight end now. Another throw for Mahomes. Finds his man, Rice. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Back to the air, Mahomes. And they will score! Touchdown, Kansas City! The Chiefs tie and can take the lead here in the second. If you're going to complete that one successfully, Brock, you need the perfect throw. Just the right touch. And you also need a guy who can go up and get it just like that. Yeah, need to be able to muscle somebody off the ball if you're not alone. And call me a little biased. Go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> you're biased. But the success of that play does come down to the timing of the uh, throw, Kate. Uh -huh. So we've got a stoppage now. Figured this might be coming. We're going to take another look to see if this was indeed a touchdown. Well, this right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again, unlike these officials who got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? All right, so wipe the touchdown away. He did not make the catch.
Again, Mahomes to throw. Has it in close. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. They've held him out twice. Here we go, third and goal. Off the play fake, it's Mahomes. On him quick, and they bring him down. Good pressure from the defense there has them trending in the wrong direction. This defense has been trying like mad to do anything to disrupt the rhythm, get the QB off his spot. It's got to be a massive relief to see their efforts paid off on that play. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal unit and Harrison Butker headed out. A 27-yard look here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that cuts the lead in half, down to three. Well, that's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. Volley set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Starting from the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. Out comes the offense for the Bengals. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal, despite advancing the football pretty well. First and ten now. Here's Burrow. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 32, finds his man, Chase. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. He gets six on that play, and it'll be first down, Bengals. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. New set of downs for him at the 38. On first down, here's Burrow. Completes this one to Chase. And he's going to be bottled up right at the line as we've reached the two-minute warning. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. To throw again, it's Burrow. Into the hands of Gasicki, complete. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. Give him 13 on that play. And it sets up a Cincinnati first down. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Burrow from the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's brought down after a short game. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Out of the shotgun, Burrow. Into traffic, complete. And he'll take it past the midfield strike and start the push into Chiefs territory. So now here's third and five. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. 
First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Able to find Jones. He has room past the 25. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. From the red zone now. He's on the move. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. I think his decision making wrote a check that his legs couldn't catch this time. <laughs> this QB can run. And he's ranging, looking for space, looking for an outlet. But there's none to be had. No escape route available this time. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Now, just before the break, a timeout taken by the offense, and they can try for some points going into the break. Evan McPherson on for the Bengals' field goal. It's on the right hash for this 39-yarder. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll double their lead to six. Give him the first half trifecta. He's three for three on field goals. And as much as they'd like six points to end drives, not three, they can at least be happy they're getting consistent looks inside field goal range. He's delivering. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he'll have it up to about the 23-yard line on the play. That brings us to halftime with the visiting Bengals out in front. Now we'll get you down to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. Both these teams ready for the fight ahead. We're ready to get back to it as well. And to do just that, we'll hand it back over to Kate and Brock. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Fielded at the 7. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Chiefs have their offense out to start this third quarter. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be firing to start this second half, too, as they chase this lead. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Throwing quickly, but it's incomplete. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Out of the gun. It's Mahomes. That's complete. Here's Brown. And they take him down, but there's a flag on the play. Offense liked how that play went. They choose to decline the penalty. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Moore's got it! And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass, into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Run from Vacheco to start the half. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. 
You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Off play action. It's Mahomes. He'll get this one to Brown. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Third and just two to go. They'll run it. Here's Pacheco. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. You know, I'm not sure what else could have been done there, Kate. Just the right call defensively to come up with a third and short stop. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. Back to throw it. This one finds Kelsey. And they stop him. He's marked down along that 18-yard line. It's a 13-yard pickup. And no worry at all on their side from being able to reach that marker on fourth down. That was impressive. They're now set for first and ten. Here's Mahomes. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually, they do give him the 10-yard line. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. Second and three now. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. He brings it in. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Throwing again. Mahomes. And they will score! Touchdown, Kansas City! The Chiefs will reach the end zone for six. Great opportunity to find a touchdown there, Brock, and they come through with six. Receivers want the ball everywhere on the football field. <laughs> but you start <laughs> yep. smelling the end zone, they really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. And he sure did. Butker to try the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll take the lead. Butker on now to kick this one away. He fields it from the eight. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. So now here comes the Bengals on offense. They find themselves trailing after the opening drive touchdown. And heck, it really set up to be an entertaining second half if they're able to answer here. First down, Burrow to throw. On the quick slant here, it's Higgins. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Burrow setting up the play action. Fires right away, but incomplete. Not on the same page with his tight end. So it's going to be third and short coming up. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. No connection on the last play, and out third down. 
Play action now. Burrow. Moss holds it in. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. It's a gain of four there. And it'll be first down, Bengals. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. All right, here we go. Second down. From the gun, again to Brown. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Give him five on that play. Now it's going to be third down and six. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. First and 10 from the 41. Burrow out of the shotgun. Higgins makes the catch. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. Up the gut, they go with Maul. And he makes it to the start of the red zone down at the 20. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby. But you know what? Talk to managers and they will tell you small ball can win too. Singles and doubles, you add them up. You could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. The Chiefs get to him, and he's dropped. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. You get into the red zone, and every detail matters. It matters on the whole 100 yards. But, Kate, once you get inside this red zone, it is so critical. And let's tip our cap to the defense on the details, creating that sack. This offense looking to converge as they come up on third down. Here's Burrow. Made the throw as he was getting hit, Brock, and it's incomplete. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last-second attempt to get rid of it. And on fourth down, out comes the Bengals' field goal team and Evan McPherson. This is going to be a 46-yarder. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And they've taken back the lead. Let's give him some credit. He's done his best to three them to death in this game, Kate. And he's continuing that effort here in the second half as his fourth field goal of the game gives them a slim lead. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven.
The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes. And while this isn't one for the record books, Brock, I know that you've been really impressed with just how he's owned the pace and schedule for much of this game. The stat line looking pretty impressive at this point as well. Look at this. He's found the weaknesses in the defense and capitalized having a real nice game so far. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Back to throw Mahomes. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Tough one to retain through that hit. And it's going to be second down. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Second and ten now. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Looking for Travis Kelsey that time. And things look tougher now with third and long. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. Third down. It's Mahomes. Able to get it to Moore. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end, finishing it, doing his job. Ball at the 33 for first down. A counter give here to Pacheco. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. So we hit the end of the third quarter. It's the Chiefs in possession to start. They trail, but that lead is reachable. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Looking to throw Mahomes. Nowhere to go with it, so he just throws it away. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Here's Mahomes now. Pacheco hauls it in. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And there was nobody down there to get it. Punt hit at the seven, but continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Cincinnati just about set for its next offensive possession. And they were able to contribute three points to the lead their last time out. Another chance to build on that advantage here. First and ten now. Here's Burrow. That's complete to the rookie out of Alabama. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Receiver in motion going left. From the 29. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. First down, ball at the 36. Out of the shotgun, Burrow. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, 
It's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. To throw again, it's Burrow. He's got him, that's Moss. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Man, the defense was all over that throw, able to stop it right at the line. They could smell that one coming, and they sniffed it out in a hurry. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Burrow from the gun. Finds his man, Chase. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. And it sets up a Cincinnati first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Burrow back to throw. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They're going play action. Fires down the middle, and it is caught. And they can't chop to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. They'll come up first and 10. Working inside the red zone. Completes this one to Chase. And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on the drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. Burrow to the air now. He's got it. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. They get two on the play, and now they've got first and goal. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. And that's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. Burrow setting up the play action. They did it! He made the interception! Fred McDuffie in to pick it off. Mm-mm-mm. There are costly interceptions, Brock. And then there are interceptions inside the red zone in the second half of a one-score game. And if there is ever a time where ball security is paramount, it is right now. Yeah. They made a great play. Don't get me wrong. They deserve a ton of credit right there. Mm -hmm. But as a quarterback, you cannot risk a turnover. It's touchdown, it's check down, it's throw the ball away. You're literally throwing points away with that pick. They're out and set, first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Kelsey makes the catch. And he'll get it up to the 27. Second and three now. Pacheco gets it from the gun. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. Third and a lone yard coming up. Looking to throw. He has the first over the middle. And they're going to bring him down just as we've come up to the two-minute warning. Yeah. 
Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Here he is to throw. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. They motion the tight end over. Looking to throw it. Has it in close. And he takes it down to the two, but no touchdown yet. He's out of bounds. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Running up the middle, Pacheco. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown! The Chiefs jump in front late. It's an Isaiah Pacheco touchdown. So what a finish this is shaping up to be. The late touchdown here, Brock, moves them in front. And week to week, what a pleasure it is for us to call these games. We never know yeah. what kind of game we're going to get. This one's been everything you could have wanted. And now, even though they've taken the lead, there's still enough time on that other sideline for them to go mount a response. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Butker on now to kick this one away. Has this at the six. Find some space. He's past the 30. And they'll start this drive in good position. A little shy of the 40. The Cincinnati offense headed out now. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. They send the tight end in motion left. To throw. Higgins makes the catch. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. In a good spot here, second and inches. Now to throw. Has the connection to Jones. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. Cincinnati uses its second timeout. Still one more in their pocket to use. To the line for a new set of downs. Only a lone timeout at their disposal. Throwing now, able to find Jones. And he's marked down, looks like at the 32-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And it'll be first down, Bengals. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Into the hands of Kasiki, complete. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. The final timeout taken by the Bengals. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. A modest amount of time left, Brock, but crucially, no timeouts for him. It's first down. Here he is to throw. 
And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. One final shot here. On the move. And he gets to the end zone. There's no time left. That wins them the game. So the Bengals take this one on the road. And finally, Brock, they can exhale and take a few breaths. Because uh, I don't imagine any of them were breathing easy during that one with how close this game was. Them or us? Or both? <laughs> all of us. <laughs> yeah, D, is, all of the above. It, it is so hard, Kate, to match the adrenaline surge they feel right now and that they felt in every major turn throughout the second half. There's just something about a close game, the intensity that's there in every moment that you love to experience as a player and that you hope in all these moments you can execute so you're the one celebrating and riding that wave of emotion.